Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a day of the paw your way into our hearts hop, which happens once a month. I think it's the third Thursday of the month and all month long is baby got scraps. I have not been playing along a whole lot just because I haven't been uh, creating, but I am hoping to be back now. So I am using a whole bunch of scraps out of my warm colored scrap bin. That's how I, di I divide mine up. Uh, warm colors in one, cool colors in another, and then all of the neutrals in a third bin. And that's about as detailed as I get. So I pulled out a bunch of these warm colors and I cut them down into two and a half by two and a half inch squares using my trimmer. And I am just inking them up with a little bit of black soot distress, distress ink. And I am getting ready to place them on this background paper from 49 and Market. Now with the Baby Got Scraps, uh, hop for January we can use one sheet of one full sheet of paper and the rest needs to be scraps so that is what I'm doing here um, I'm not really sure what collection the background paper is from if you're really interested in that let me know I will um, try to remember or I can look that up for you um, but I already threw away the branding strip so I'll have to do a little digging which is not a problem so I am just marking off where the center of the paper is I'm actually just marking like maybe a sixteenth of an inch off center both directions so that I can line up my papers going uh, vertically and I am just eyeballing how far apart horizontally they're going. I'm usually a pretty good judge of distance on that. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I start out with a nice vertical line. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite side. I'm just to the left of center and um, leaving a gap there. Now, if you're wondering what my hands are doing, I am at a crop or at a retreat, and uh, that has gotten me back in the groove to go ahead and create. Uh, a little bit of time away was definitely needed and very rejuvenating, so I have several videos that I just need to get them edited and voiced and up for you, but I will, I'm hoping to be back to creating content on a regular basis. So my apologies for the break, but thank you so much for being understanding. Uh, so many of you guys have reached out and been just really supportive and awesome in uh, understanding that I had a lot going on in the month of December and into the beginning of January. Okay, so these two little extra pieces, they were just the offcuts that were left over. And since my photo is gonna go over the area um, where I'm kind of leaving a blank, then I can not use a complete two and a half by two and a half inch square. And I don't even have to worry about completing the second from the left column because my photos are going to cover that. So my main goal here was to go with that peachy pink, a little to the orange and a little to the yellow. Uh, that striped paper up at the top kind of brings in both colors. And the one in the upper right hand corner definitely has some yellow in it as well. And then the polka dots on that yellow sheet are very similar to the orange color. So this is where I kind of drew, uh, drew my inspiration from. I also have a sticker sheet that are just some cat and dog stickers that my son's girlfriend gave me at Christmas time. Um, I, she knows I scrapbook the dogs, so I haven't been scrapbooking the cats very much recently, but um, I decided to go ahead and put both on here because in this particular case, my dog is sitting there and our cat is sitting there and they're looking at each other and then they both are, well, they're looking at, the cat's looking at the dog and then they're both looking at the camera, which is kind of funny because the dog is super interested in the cats. The cats want nothing to do with the dogs. And the fact that they're sitting that close together and the dog is not right up in his face or rather in his butt <laughs> is a, a, a miracle. Like normally the dog is following the cat around. The cat is will turn around and hiss and bop at him, at her, just to make her leave him alone. So I am uh, trimming down some white paper to map my photos on. And these are just the four and a half by six and a half inch photo mats that you can buy already pre-cut at Hobby Lobby. I love using them. I don't feel like I'm wasting a bunch of white paper. I just trimming off like a half an inch on two sides makes me feel like um, it's not super wasteful. If I were to use a 12 by 12, I know I would probably be wasting a lot more than that. And then uh, my awesome friend Lynn gave me the Catherine Pooler metallic ink pads. Uh, as a gift and so thank you so much for, for that Lynn I went ahead and used the gold one 
on the edges of these papers and I really like how that looks it's just bringing in a little bit of uh, the color um, of the brown color and actually I think I didn't use I think I said that I used black soot on all of my um, squares but I think I actually used walnut stain so my apologies for that you guys I'm pretty sure it was walnut stain um, and then my other friend Mo she gave me these awesome thickers that I'm using actually both packs the one that says fairy tale and this pack that has the gold and the cream color on it and so my title is going to be happy fairy tale moment because um, this is definitely not a normal occurrence for these two sitting so close together and not bothering each other and um, I had considered going with like Christmas Miracle because these actually were taken on Christmas Eve but I you know I don't really need it to be Christmas because there's nothing really Christmas in here but um, so I really liked that foam sticker that said fairy tale so I, I thought I'd just go ahead and use that now I am putting a bunch of these cats and dogs on this layout kind of randomly scattered around and I will go back and pop them up onto foam and I don't know that I show you that on camera so um, just know that I went ahead and used a little bit of foam adhesive to put underneath those cats and dogs when you see the close-ups I also have this little sticker sheet from my friend Cindy um, she gave those away at her, her crop that I went to a few months back and so I'm gonna go ahead and use those I'm using this little banner piece I am using the piece that says loving this as well as the piece that says happy and those are really fun uh, puffy stickers from Felicity Jane who is actually I don't think they're even in business anymore I pulled out some tickets the tickets are all 49 in market but I got them in a uh, some assemblage required embellishment box uh, MK has an embellishment box every month and they were in there now I didn't really use a whole bunch of them I think I just end up using the one little ticket at the top and then I'm actually using some of her packaging and what I like about it is that it is a much lighter color and I didn't want anything that was super bold up there and it's almost the color of the cat in the picture in some areas so the cat is our, our Garfield style cat but he's really more of a buff tan orange than a really dark orange and as you can see in the photo that's not really been photo processed or anything like that that is just the color he is it's a very soft color and he is really a, a super soft cat and he just doesn't like to be bothered um, by humans or by by uh, dogs now he's a rescue and most as most of our animals are actually as all of our animals are and so um, you know we give him his space um, this gold Heidi swap color shine just seemed to be the perfect addition to just finish off my clusters so I just sprinkled a little bit of that over and that is it go and check out the links down below to the other people that are playing along with both paw your way into our hearts and that is going to be a pet related um, series so you can go and check that out and then if you're interested in using up your scraps go check out inspiration for baby got scraps down below thanks so much for spending time with me and watching today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time bye bye